The Flatten tool, which is new in 3D Code version 3.2, allows you to do just what the name indicates, flatten areas underneath your brush. And now this tool does not respect Pin Alpha, so it doesn't matter which one you use. Though, if you look up here on the top, you'll notice uh, we have some unique options, which we'll cover in just a moment. Now this pen does use your brush size and also intensity or depth for the area that it will flatten. So keep that in mind while using it. Let's see, you see here I'm scraping this edge or flattening this edge and it's working quite well. It looks very, very good. You can use that on other areas as well to get a flat look, not just corners of course. Now let's take a look at some of these options up here don't lift edges. You notice right here on this edge that it flattened perfectly exactly how you would expect. But if you turn off don't lift edges, it will lift the edges to come meet them and create a new surface entirely that is almost extruded outward instead of scraping away as you can do like we previously did here. So let's turn up the brush size and the intensity and you see here it's extruding a new surface from that relative to the size of our pen. Okay, the next option is plain softness. You can see here we can go from 0 to 100. Essentially what this does is gives you um, a little playroom to use the tool in. If it's set at 0, there will be no soft uh, planing or soft flattening. So let's uh, show you here what I'm talking about. This was set at zero on that edge and it flattened 100% uh, of the intensity of my brush. If we set it to 100 it will not flatten a single thing. So somewhere in between you can see and uh, actually let's turn off don't lift edges. <laughs> I'm sorry, turn it on rather. It's turned off there and creating more of those extrusions there. So right back over on this edge and uh, the plain softness is set at 74. You can see it's not as strong as it was over there. And if we continue to turn it up to say 95%, let's undo that, it's even softer than before. You can see there's still remnants of that hard edge in there. And of course the last option for the flatten tool is the sampling. You can set it from 0 to 100 default, I'm sorry, from 0 to 200, and the default is 100. And uh, let's scrape here. You notice the edge is, it's very smooth. It looks pretty good. But if we undo it, turn the sampling down to 0, you'll notice it's actually doing nothing. But if we turn it up ever so slightly, it will smooth, but you see it looks kind of rough and chunky, like uh, it would from slightly dry clay. Let's undo that again, and if we turn it up to 100, it will be ultra smooth, as you can see there. It looks very smooth and, and good looking.